China has made remarkable achievements in uh, domestic economic and social development and also has made remarkable contributions to the global development. So in the IFRC, the world's largest humanitarian organization, we really need these lessons from China. We really need to learn these lessons and uh, we really need to see the, and China's experience and insights are very crucial for us and also for our network uh, around uh, the world. And the Red Cross Society of China plays uh, a really big role in addressing humanitarian challenges domestically and internationally. So um, allow me to also mention that the Red Cross Society of China was honored the IFRC's highest distinction um, which we call Henry Davison Award in 2022 for their outstanding contribution to humanity and for the incredible work that they did in addressing COVID-19 um, uh, impacts domestically and uh, internationally. We welcome and we're very encouraged to see uh, increased contributions from the Red Cross Society of uh, China to the IFRC emergency appeals and to the IFRC longer term plans. And we also appreciate the opportunity to share and learn from each other. Now, I mentioned that we need to work together much more to address the escalating humanitarian needs so that the aid can be delivered to those most in need. But it also needs to be delivered effectively and it needs to be de delivered in the, in the quickest way. And here, the Red Cross Society of, the Societies of China Foreign Aid Supply Station is an excellent uh, opportunity to drive this um, effective aid delivery. So we're now negotiating to potentially make the uh, foreign aid supply station of the Red Cross Society of China one of the IFRC supply chain hubs.